Here are some things that YouTubers and comedians do that irritate the sh** out of me. In case I wasn't clear at the beginning, these are things that comedians and YouTubers do that irritate the sh** out of me. Things that you people need to change in order to satisfy my needs. Because I'm important. First one is for comedians that laugh during live skits. Looking at you, Jimmy Fallon, you unprofessional nutsack. This man doesn't even have to actually be saying anything that funny for him to just lose his shit and start cackling. It's unprofessional and irritating. Oh, geez. Today is so boring. I wish something cool would happen. Oh my gosh, it's it's famous comedian talk show host Jimmy Fallon. Hey Jimmy. Hey, hey Jimmy, how, how you been, man? Hey hello. That's good. What are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? Jimmy. What are you doing? Jimmy, Jimmy we haven't even gotten to the funny part yet. Number two, I'm a bit of a vlog hater. But I especially hate vloggers that are literally just filming themselves being douchebags. It's one thing if you're vlogging yourself, going on a really cool vacation, you know, the, of, uh, though I am of the mind where, you know, maybe you should just look at what it is you're doing instead of filming yourself. I also understand that if you're going on vacation to f***ing Disney World, some people might be like, hey, that's pretty cool. I want to see what Disney World looks like. You're doing something. Not my cup of tea, but I'm not going to knock it. You know, everyone's got their niche. But for motherfuckers that are out there just like... What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog! Today, we're gonna be going down to the St. Jude Children's Hospital and doing donuts in the parking lot. That's right. Stay tuned for the vlog. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> Shut the f This next one's for comedians. Stop pausing for laughter when nobody is laughing. You could not even be at the punchline. There are comedians, professional and unprofessional, who are just pausing, expecting people to laugh. So, from Staten Island, that's a place, you know, I mentioned it, I'm from Staten Island, right? And also, I'm from there, right? And I'm so awkward and skinny, and I walk into this club, I'm looking so awkward and skinny, right? Just say the joke. If nobody's laughing, just keep going, right? If people start to laugh, you can pause. You know what I mean? It, and I mean, maybe I don't have room to speak, you know, because I've never actually stood up on a stage and made people laugh. But I know for me personally, I wouldn't just stop expecting people to laugh if they're completely straight-faced. You know what I'm saying? doesn't make any sense. So fix it. This next one is for YouTubers, and I've got some examples, and I might even catch some flack for knocking these guys, but I'm going to say it anyway. If there is no quality improvement in your videos, what are you doing? It's one thing if you don't do anything different. You know, I, I, I can't necessarily say speak for that, because my example was RDC World 1. I'm not saying that they're not funny, and I'm not even... I'm not even going to knock them for necessarily kind of doing the same thing every time because honestly, I'm guilty of that. You know, you look at all my skits, it's kind of the same premise every time. Would I like to do something different? Absolutely. But every time I go to write a skit, they just end up kind of being the same thing, borderline predictable. I'm not going to knock them for that. It's hard doing something original. Even if you wanted to do something original, it may not be. I'm not going to knock on them for that. What I'm going to knock on them for is they're up to a few million subscribers and it feels like all of their videos have not improved quality wise at all. You know, even one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Caleb City, is pretty guilty of this. I personally don't like videos that are comedically lazy after you were past that point. You know what I mean? And, and this may just be a personal thing, but like, let's say a guy is pretending to be a girl in a video for comedic effect. Uh, and they just put a towel over their head. Like, I don't know. That's funny if you only have 100 subscribers and no money to your name. But once you've gotten to a point where you're beyond that, I feel like it it it's time to buy a damn wig. This next one's for comedians. Why are you just gonna let people get in your head and suddenly decide to do serious roles out of nowhere? 
For me personally, if you decide to become a comedian, unless you are officially changing your occupation, there's no point in doing anything serious unless somebody specifically asks for you. You know what I mean? I don't like when comedians will suddenly be like, Oh, nobody's taking me seriously. I'm going to do real acting. No one's taking you seriously because it's in your f***ing job title. You are a comedian. You do comedy. Hey guys, it's your boy Richard Nuts here, aka Dick, famous comedian, and um, I've decided that I, I want to try to get into more serious uh, roles. You know, I, I'm tired of being known for the excessive Adolf Hitler jokes. Um, but yeah, no, I think I'm starting to get really into Shakespeare, as they say in his hometown of France. Um, so I'm thinking of, of being Romeo in a new, more serious role. Who cares if nobody takes you seriously? That's the damn point. But again, maybe that's a personal, unpopular opinion. I don't know. I don't care. I just think, for me, people tell me, Oh, you don't do anything serious. Maybe that's why you don't have a job. I just go like, I don't do anything serious because I don't want to do anything serious. Everybody does serious stuff, right? It doesn't take a super talented person to do serious stuff. It does take a little bit of skill to be funny. Not everyone is funny, everyone is serious. That's all I'm going to say. This next one's for YouTubers. Anytime YouTubers start to veer away from what it is that made them popular, the reason that made you popular is because that's what people want. It's one thing if you're changing with the times, you know, and you're, you're changing with what people want. People want something different, whatever. But if you're just veering away from what made you popular in the first place, stop. Don't do that. Smosh. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Larry212 here. And um, so I know you guys love uh, my Dungeons and Dragons live action content that I've been doing for the past four years, even before I had seven million subscribers. You know, you guys love that stuff. I've decided to give the channel a complete overhaul and delete all those crappy videos. And now we're focusing on bong pottery. That's right. Whoa, a little change up there. I'm focusing on bong pottery now. Uh, no more Dungeons and Dragons. I'm going to delete those uh, videos. It's just bong pottery. Lots of bong pottery. This next one I, I have highlighted on my list because this is a 100% me thing. I don't know too many people in the world who would agree with this, but I don't think comedians should publicly support any kind of political movement. The only reason I say this is because I wouldn't do it personally. I wouldn't go on Twitter and support a political movement, even if I believe in that political movement, if that makes sense. Because if you are a comedian, you make light of everything. So if you support something, it's that whole idea of like, is he being serious? Is he being satirical, ironic? Would it like, Hey guys, uh, Comedian Aloe here, uh, here with a serious video. This is serious, right? I'm not, f not fricking around. This is some adult stuff. All right, so if you got, you know, a, a burr up your bum, you can get on out of here because this is serious. I'm here to tell you that I have officially joined the movement of legalized war horns. I, I'm not joking. This is this is not a joke, okay? But uh, my tour is going on um, during this movement. Uh, my comedy tour, uh, legalized war horns. Is that's not the name of the comedy tour? Although that would be a good name, legalized war horns, because we should legalize these. Look at it. I can't play it, but we need to legalize them. This next one. And I'm going to have to be careful I say this or else it'll come out extremely hypocritical. YouTube shorts. Short, 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 short. I have partaken in shorts. But here's my, here's my thing. Those shorts are usually uploaded across all of my social media platforms. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. When I upload it, I don't upload it as a short. I upload it as a video, and then YouTube decides to make it a short. It feels like people are getting popular for half-assing their work. Stealing content, that's self-explanatory. Comedian or a YouTuber, 
be original. I mean, I understand it's hard to be original, but we can tell when you're copying someone and when you, you're just saying something similar, you know? Did you know that for Call of the Wind, that calls at the most inconvenient time, during the opening scene, the crew did not have permission to film. They shot in a neighbor's yard when they were not home. The last one is probably the most guilty. And, and the thing I hate the most, comedians or YouTubers, Amy damn Schumer. Well, that's it for this video. I don't know why I made it. I was I was feeling eager to to shoot something, and uh, this is kind of how I did it. Uh, I'm eager to make content again, but I'm just kind of idea dry. Like I feel like I've had a soaking wet towel in like summer and fall, and I've wringed it out, and all like now I just got like a slightly moist towel that's kind of been sitting out for a while, you know? So I'm trying to get it soaked again. Anyway, it doesn't matter. In case you were looking at my screens, this is my website. You should go check it out. Uh, I think I have a link in the description. If not, you can go to my YouTube homepage and there's a button that'll take you right to it on my banner. I know a lot of you people are just, they just want to watch a video, they don't really care about any of my other stuff. Um, be different, you know, change yourself for my personal amusement. I do all kinds of pictures and video on there. I got portraits, miscellaneous, pets, commercial videos, and then a little blurb about me. You can also click down here and go to the Alan Cal website, um, and you can click any of these buttons here and go to my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or email. Uh, this is mostly for business stuff. Yes, I do comedy stuff on YouTube, but I also am interested in doing weddings, portraits, whatever. So if you if you want to hire me, feel free to go to my website, look at some of my work. Feel free to contact me via email, Instagram, Twitter. If you want to contact me through Facebook, go ahead. I'll be brutally honest, I'm not really on that. I, I'm already not on these anyways, but I'm on Facebook the least. So feel free to check those out. I'll work all across the Maryland state um, and maybe even southern Pennsylvania because it's, you know, why not? A lot of people are looking for stuff down there. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, I'm trying to make more stuff, but um, I don't have any ideas. I'm just a moist towelette. So thank you. Subscribe.